Dr. Maheshwari, Assistant Medical Director, Garbagudi IVF Center. So today we'll be discussing about uh, azospermia. So azospermia means it is complete absence of semen in the seminine fluid. So it is not like if you have azospermia report, don't think you are alone. So out of uh, 100 males, 1 to 2 percent of the males will have azospermia and it is one of the cause for infertility and it accounts for 10 to 15 percent of the infertility cases. So if you understand the normal physiology, so the sperm is produced in the testicles. So once the sperms are synthesized, it travels through the reproductive system, the genital organs and it mixes with the fluid from the seminal vesicles and that comes out as a semen. Suppose if the sperms are not synthesized in the testicles, only the seminal fluid can come out. So one report shows that there is no sperms in the semen, in the semen sample, don't get tensed. So usually we will check after 4 to 6 weeks again and reconfirm the diagnosis of azospermia. Even if the azospermia is there, so first we have to see what are the causes for azospermia and there is lot of advanced treatment that I will be discussing now. So if you see the causes of azospermia, one is if the uh, sperms are not synthesized properly in the testis, then the sperms are not found in the seminal fluid. So this may be because of uh, any surgeries or trauma to the testis or any cancers or a radiotherapy, chemotherapy or if you have any medical conditions like diabetes and if you have uh, taking certain medications which are harmful for the sperm synthesis. So those things can hamper the sperm production. So few things are reversible if the medications are stopped or if the sugars controls, if the sugar levels are controlled or if there is any varicocele that is dilated vessels around your testis. If we operate definitely the sperm parameters are going to improve. So another set of uh, causes is pre-testicular causes we tell if there is any deficiency in the hormone production like FSH, LH, testosterone hormone or if this if there is any genetic abnormalities so that also causes azospermia and in the third set of population that is if there is any obstruction so the sperms is getting synthesized but there is an obstruction for the sperms to come out so if there is any obstructive causes also we can see where exactly the obstruction is there and we can treat it and also suppose if you have this kind of azospermia report, no need to panic, consult the doctor. So once you consult, basic test we will do like your hemoglobin, sugar, thyroid and also prolactin hormone is normal or not. And also the FSH, LH hormones and testosterone we will check. And also we will do an ultrasound and see what is the size of the testicle, is there any problem in the scrotum or if there is any uh, other abnormalities which is leading to azospermia. So and then once the diagnosis is done and also will rule out any genetic testing is required or not. Simple genetic testing like karyotyping which shows your chromosomal pattern and also we can see for certain uh, material in the Y chromosomes whether that is present or not that is called as Y chromosome microdeletion test we will do. So once the report has come we'll come to uh, will come to a conclusion like what is the probable causes for the azospermia and we will treat it accordingly. Suppose if everything comes normal, we'll do a simple procedures like PESA, PESA and MICROTESA. PESA means what we do is uh, above the testis there are epididymis. We pass a small needle into the epididymis and we try to collect the sperms. So majority in 60 to 70 percent of the cases will get the sperms in the epididymis itself. So those sperms we will use for IVF, we'll use those sperms to do the ICSI and so many males who have azospermia with this procedure, IVF has been done and they had a normal baby. So there is no need to panic. So suppose if we don't get the sperms from the epididymis, then we will take the sperms from the testis itself. So these are done under local anesthesia. It is not a major procedure. Hardly it is 15 to 20 minutes procedure. So from the testis, we will try to take the sperms. If we get the sperms, we'll use the sperms for ICSI. So if you have azospermia, don't panic consult the doctor, definitely there is a solution for azospermia and you can have a healthy baby. Thank you.